Despair, I wrote a 50th birthday yep, yep, poem for myself. You don't check your so, not 50. Not thanks for being a part of my 50th birthday, birthday poem. Yo, fuck. It's called Illuminati Simulation and Non Secular Heaven Blues Part 32. <laughs> my friends, when the asteroid comes, I'll be mowing your lawn. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, you'll find me twerking in front of the rainbow, the ten-year-old neighbor girl says. I'm a product of my times. At yesterday's OHSU graduation, I handed the 27-year-old valedictorian a tiny rainbow earth and said, as a representative of Generation X, I say to you what the boomers said to me. Congratulations! It's your ball now! <laughs> it's your ball now! Sorry, I breathed in some nanoparticulates from the chemtrails today. <laughs> nanoparticulates from the chemtrails today. But that's not part of the poem, that's part of my reality. Lots happened last week. I stubbed my toe. Volcanoes rampaged Alaska. I said goodbye to all the zombies at the symphony till next season. Grateful that none of them died of old age on my watch. I instructed my girlfriend to stab 50 Viagra candles into my celebratory meatloaf, blew them out, said, cut off my head, it'll sprout again from another's neck. Not, the billionaire elite said with a wink. Breaking news, Bigfoot thinks we stink. Noon at Binks Bar, Alberta Street, Freemason Larry sees with the eyes of Jesus, shining down like a spotlight sun on a flat earth, making circles to the crops and cities he loves, as does the spirograph moon in a new yin-yang surreality dance, and spilling puzzle pieces all over the drunk young real estate moguls. Each slug, each stillbirth leaves a trail of light to roll in, lick up, follow, write into a mammoth duality treatise equipped with bones and big wheels, plucking non-sequitur gems like 13 cent cheeseburgers from 1979 and a fake CGI moon you can see stars through. So stop slinging rockets at the heavenly dome, that shit ain't shattering baby, and every stone tree person a sliver of God's hide and seek panoply. Plea, the dialogue of flowers after 33 beers and a hookah hit. Italy's looted antiquities, Bjork's ambiguous tonalities, Bjork! plus Goofy's art tax sledgehammer. So I listened to these kooky kids while sipping PBR at noon, and what an expansion anthem to wake to. And sure as last night's dream of kaleidoscopes and meteorites, they continued to make deals amid 2017 computer screen clouds in a blue so virtual as to confuse the real. It's all blood drinking from Hillary to Pharaoh, she said. Poetic champion to prose whore rhetoric shift away to a scene of eating mac and cheese from a mad pied cow and kissing a final dramatic broadcasted Facebook live kiss before it all melts away to opinion polls, a question of idiots and feces arrangement. Language wars exciting the drooling suits to wipe their mouths and grab their fascist asses. And ain't their teeth so white like the flags we all started waving amid kindergarten's mind crush in each window reverie crucified on a get-to-work clock. Four beers into the latest Illuminati investigation, I fell in love with your snoring. Another Jesus found a drunk on TV. Not in the flower, not in the tree. Soon we may be merging with machines, and wouldn't that cure our deep-seated agony? Now that Kanye and Kellyanne have been found, I can put my missing persons posters aside and develop my new chapbook, Shitting Rainbows and Unicorns Within the Simulation. 
simulation. Breaking news, the elites are done building their bunkers. I'm just going to go home, watch The Leftovers on HBO, eat genetically modified snacks, and play Three Little Piggies with my girlfriend while wearing my Hillary mask. Oh! Ew. 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 <laughs> the disembodied head of my friend Kathy agrees. <laughs> Mike G is funnier oh! than me. <laughs> Let's just roll out the red carpet for the aliens and be done with it. Oh, yeah. Let's pretend it's 1995 and actually talking to each other. And by the way, who's going to take care of OJ once he gets out of prison? The juice could be loose as early as October 1st. And I got a thirst for apocalypse ale and testicular lizard extract to improve the nature of my erections. Meanwhile, jellyfish are heartsick over the absence of peanut butter fish. The dance mom brushes her daughter's hair. Why do I have to come in first, mommy? Because I came in second. In a laid-back breeze in between lightning strikes, zombies do not hate fast food because they're health conscious. They hate it because they're slow as fuck. <laughs> and stop sampling human tissue in the autopsy lab, Larry. Didn't your wife pack you a lunch? <laughs> On page 69 of Hunter S. Thompson's classic A Generation of Swine, he wrote, Normal people don't spend the 4th of July on airplanes except in unfortunate circumstances. I will be spending July 4th on, on an airplane. airplane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eat your lima beans, Grandma always said. The desperate don't complain. But I'm not desperate, Grandma. You will be. <laughs> no, I won't go home early. Money is more important than sunshine. Of course Harvard loves our children. That's why they invented skull and bones, don't you know? As above, so below, I enigmatically said to Jerry. And don't worry, you are the god of the cosmos you made on the page, and there is no grade, and there is no dress code in the liquor store, baby. Kanye found safe and sound on a mountaintop in Wyoming, fermenting his juices into art. Kellyanne proclaiming the days of chaos and suffering ended. We've captured the blueprints to the fake sun machine. In a thousand years, humans will have big hands and orange faces like mine, Uncle Trumpy, the 45th Prez, says. Meanwhile, scientists in Italy and China are performing head transplants on animals to determine if you can transfer consciousness from one body to another. That would make the elites happy in their bunkers. What's the key to my longevity? Cinnamon in coffee. I'm going to download my consciousness into a machine, the ten-year-old neighbor girl says. No, wait! Too late! <laughs> we can't always control who comes into our lives, but we can control which fake space station window we throw them out of. Like the 72 bus drunk preaching to the Hindus, Ganesh is Satan's elephant. Repent, Ganesh is Satan's elephant. Again, the flowers come so wild, everywhere, mysterious, as if winter's miseries were but a myth the ancients told to scare us. Finally, a deserved day off. God, I thought you said a deserved die off, the ten-year-old neighbor girl says. Your ball at 50, I'm an autumn chicken now. You fuck with the Illuminati, not by waking others up, but by loving the sleepers anyway. Remember the yes. last game, how sleep was the big win? Don't go to the light. It's a hospital light. You don't want to. You've been here before. You don't want to be reborn. It's like what the ancient glittering hag said in the soup line. At times like these, I wish McDonald's served McWine. Oh, and I've been collecting quarters. What for? My funeral. What else? It's like what my disembodied head friend Kathy says. Please wait, universe buffering. Yeah.